14th scale RC car, or I guess this is technically a Truggy. It's a little uh, 14th scale RC truck. And it does do off-road. This is the 14210 version 3 from MJX. It's another very popular model. And I think the first one came out, V1 came out like a year ago. And the V2 a few months after that. And this one has um, been out for a few months, like three or four months now. So uh, seeing this a little bit late, but uh, if you're wondering what the differences are, I'm not 100% sure. I'll try and point out some of the ones that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure I'll miss some. If you happen to know what the differences are specifically, be, you know, let me know down in the comments if I missed anything important. Essentially, I think that they kind of fixed some uh, weak areas that were breaking. Uh, I think they were in like maybe the suspension arms and stuff like that. And kind of short of some things. And we'll, we'll talk about that here when I get, open it up. But I do want to show you everything that comes with it out of the box. This is a obviously ready to run. Comes with their standard... Uh, controller for 14 scale models. You do get an extra set of these nice, um, I guess like, uh, like, I would call these like sand tires or for like maybe mud or um, wet areas, maybe water. Uh, so you see the huge tread there compared to the standard tread here. Uh, I would imagine that's what that's for. I'm going to probably do like a beach wet sand test or something like that maybe later, probably not for this video. You do get two sets of body covers. A gold one and a black one. They're both very nice. They're pretty much the same, just different colors. You get these little skid plates on top because they already know you're going to be flipping this thing over and quite a bit so to protect the body. They put those on here. So let's go ahead and fl flip this off here. And I do like the fact that they give you two because they figure, hey, you're going to break stuff. We'll go over everything that's inside here momentarily. Let's see what else we got here. Tons of goodies. We got a really nice manual. Uh, we have a 2S LiPo, uh, 3000 milliamp hours, 25C. I heard this is pretty fast on this one. This one just comes with their standard Dean's connector. Um, I don't remember exact exact numbers. I think on 3S, it should go up to 45 miles an hour. Well, have to, obviously we'll do the uh, GPS test, of course. And I will do the test on the 2S battery that's stock with it and as a 3S battery that's separate. Got a ton of stuff here. Get a wheelie bar. I will probably put that on the back. I have to install that. Uh, you do get a spare set of upper and lower control arms. These are the ones I think tend to break a lot. And um, especially with if you're going to be doing a lot of jumping, for example, this is a very popular model for hitting the ramps on uh, 3S and then launching the thing into like, you know, 25 feet into the air and then uh, sometimes these will break, but they give you some spares, which is nice. Oh, you get a couple of these, um, these are the body clip um, points where they connect to the chassis. It's uh, the front and rear, so that's what these are, some spares of those. Get a uh, spare set of springs. Uh, I think those are actually a little bit stiffer and the stock springs, just by looking at them, they look a little thicker. So again, if you're gonna be doing a lot of jumping, you may want to swap out the springs. I think that's why they provide those, give it the suspension a little bit more stiffness for that kind of activity. Um, you do get a spare spoiler or wing that goes on the back here. That's this piece over here. That's pretty exposed and will probably break eventually. It is, it is pretty tough plastic, so it's not like it's weak, but Again, they give you a spare, which is great. Uh, get another bag here with the USB charger for the battery. Uh, just use the balance plug. A whole bunch of body clips there, so you have some spares. You get a screwdriver, you get the nut wrench there for the changing out the uh, wheels. All right, so I'll take a closer look at the chassis here. See, so uh, oil filled shocks, of course. A lot of metal in this, uh, obviously. It's gonna take a lot of abuse. It's a basher. The bottom plate here is metal. The uh, support rod that goes all the way across here is anodized like painted red but it's also metal it goes all the way across from the front shock tower to the rear shock tower all of these shocks are you can see they have metal caps here on the top and it looks like the, basically it's plastic here on the top and the bottom but it's metal all the way through and on the in, on the inside so I think it's pretty standard and they are they are oil filled I'm not 100% sure 
what the density of the oil is. It's not, it doesn't feel super stiff because this is, I think they mainly intend this for like going over sort of rough dirt surfaces or grass surfaces. That's what the suspension is probably going to be best for. So we'll be doing this on the soccer field, at least for the test. And then and you do have this um, for the steering linkage here. You have a, a metal bell crank here that the uh, servo is attached to. And you can see the movement there. Get a 19 gram, 2.2 kilogram servo, pretty standard. The receiver is inside a waterproof IP67 waterproof box. You can see the wires coming out here. So pretty sure should be okay to send this through puddles and mud and that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't think I would like submerse it, and, like throw it into your swing pool. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. Probably wouldn't survive that. Uh, you have a 45 amp ESC here with a heatsink and a fan. The motor here is a 2852 size 4400 kV, and this is uh, compatible with both 2S and 3S, but it does come with a nice heatsink here on the outside plus a fan as well. So. It uh, should be totally fine on 3S. It might even be okay on 4S, but uh, I don't know. If you guys want to see a video on 4S, let me know in the comments. So here's the other side where the battery goes in. Standard two straps here for putting the battery. Pretty good space to accommodate a lot of a wide variety of sizes. And here's a look at the rear, and that's where you're going to attach the wheelie bar. And you can see, I think one of the one of the differences here on the V3 is it's going to be hard to see there, but the uh, the drive shaft there is kind of a CVD style with, and it's telescoping, so as you can see as, it, as the arm, it's going to be hard for this camera to pick it up as the arm goes up and down, you can see the telescopes, and it's uh, pretty beefy. In terms of the steering linkages here, they seem to be well adjusted, it looks pretty straight out of the box. A little bit of slop, but I don't think it's going to matter too much for uh, this being a basher. Let's go and turn it on. Turn on the remote. It's already bound out of the box. Standard uh, 70 and 100% throttle, along with your steering and throttle trims. It's a pretty basic remote. Two AA batteries in the bottom, and you have a channel here for the LED lights in the front here. So press that. Got your LED lights in the front. And I think yeah, that's it in terms of lights. There's no additional lights and no like LED controller like in the side of the body. So no extra wires to worry about there. So you can see that the uh, drive shaft there is solid metal. All the differential, the gears and everything, they're inside the plastic housing that's all metal as well. So yes, there is some plastic here and there, but I think uh, the majority of the, I guess the really important parts have been upgraded. And I think that's another thing, the, the steel gears in the differentials were also upgraded in this version. But that should cover everything. If I missed anything, yeah, do let me know down in the comments below. You know, I do try to do a little bit of research, but um, not every little detail is available in like kind of one place. So I try to sort of provide the best picture in terms of what you're going to get for this version three. Now all we got to do is go out and bash this out in the grass and see how it does. Let's go. Let's go run it. Okay, so we'll start off with some speed tests here before we wreck the thing. And kind of stylized. Let's start two us here. And on 100% throttle. Right. Try it again. Down the street. Uh, it has a tendency to pull. This is definitely not made, made for roads. It's made for the for the grass. But I'm trying to get these speed numbers here. I'm going to try and build the speed gradually. Oh man, it flips over really easily. You gotta be really gentle on the, on the steering. All right, let's see what kind of number we got here. This isn't really made for racing. All right. And this is 2S, 30 miles an hour, eh, respectable. 3S in here now. Oh, it wants to do wheelies right away. We'll do wheelies on the grass, not here on the, on the road. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, right away. I, you can't do full throttle. All right, so. Let's get down to the business at hand here. 
All right. Wow. It's got so much power in 3S, it's ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. Hey, right, let's just see what we got here. 39, all right. Good enough, I don't think I can get any more of this, at least on the street. We'll try it on the uh, grass later. All right, just uh, doing some 2S here. I I did try some 3S and it was a l really hard to control. Hard to see what it can do, so. Yes, it's a lot faster, it's pretty wicked. And I'm not really doing much in the throttle here. But let's just show you what it can do. So if you do a full throttle, it'll do a wheelie. And then it just flips over. Let's see if I can maintain a wheelie. That I wasn't able to do that in 3S at all. It was super hard to control. Ah, if you just turn a little bit, it just flips over. All right. Nope. Yeah, braking works really well. So let's just go full throttle right off the bat. And it just flips over. It's hard to do a wheelie. Yeah, uh, let's try 70% throttle and see if I can uh, maintain a wheelie. No, it doesn't even do a wheelie at 70% throttle in 2S. But it, it doesn't flip over as easily because you don't have so much built up speed until you build up the speed. Woo! Honestly, it's a lot more fun at 70% than 100%. Even 100% of 2S is pretty nuts. Oh, I still flipped it over. If you turn too quickly, it will just flip. Oh no, I got We need a turtle mode button. So far, it hasn't broken. I was expecting that wing to break. Oh. I need like some ramps or something. Let's go to the skate park over there. Okay, try this uh, skate park here. Wow. Shit. I didn't even do anything there, it just flips over. I don't want it to go into that big bowl over there. Alright, 100% throttle. Let's see if we can get it to go up this ramp here. Yeah, not much of a jump. Oh, pff. get out. Stuck in the dirt. Oh, nice. I don't want to go in the bowl. That, that's a little better than this one. Let's try this one again. Go back up. So let's go over here, build up some speed. Let's go launch it. 
Oh, nice. That was nice. Let's try some more. Oh, oh, into the bowl. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, it's upside down. This is why I didn't want to go down in here. All right, build some speed up. There you go, I got some, oh, it flipped over again. Got some air and then just flips over. All right, let's try something else here. Oh, here's a little nice little launching pad. Let's see if I can clear this, uh, the track over here. Whoops. Yeah, it's very slick. Oh, 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 painful. I can see why they give you another wing. Oh boy, lots of dirt, lots of smoke. Let's try this ramp over here. Oh, hit the fence. Still taking a lot of abuse. Hanging on. Oh, I'm upside down again. Whoa. <laughs> nice launching. Oh, upside down, back on. Okay, we're good. Yes, stuck the landing. Yes. All right, so going back on 3S here, I'm just gonna do some like long runs, uh, not too many turns because it'll flip over. Just to see how it can sort of get around here on this little grass field here. I'm gonna have to be careful on the throttle so it doesn't uh, go, otherwise you just end up doing wheelies. And I flipped over right away. All right. Wow. It moves. All right, should I build up speed slow? That's only half throttle, that's crazy. Oh no, it flipped over again. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, very sensitive on the throttle. Oh. oh my goodness. Let's see if I can build up speed and have it come by me at full throttle. Faster? Wow. Let's try it again. There we go. Wow. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna end it here, and link will be down in the description if you guys wanna check it out. Talk to you guys later.